Hi, welcome back to my channel as you learn. Today's topic is something very interesting. Can I detect people's age and emotions in the photos? Yes, the answer is yes. How do you do that? That's through a comprehensive set of AI services and the cognitive APIs that are made available to us to build intelligent apps. Then you might be saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you talking about the artificial intelligence, machine learning, something like this? Then you might be saying, no, no, I'm not a machine learning expert. Then how do I make use of this? Yes, no need to worry about the expertise required in the machine learning. You need not to be an AI expert. It's all ready made. Simply you will have to use the REST APIs which are available in Azure under various cognitive services features available. Okay, so now in today's demonstration, I am going to show it to you the face recognition API and what are the advantage of, advantages of using it? Yes, it helps you to recognize face and various attributes of face can be identified and noted and recorded and can be easily used in your apps for diverse purposes and it's very easy to use because it's through a rest api and the reply for you would be in a json format and then try to take it and then use it okay and it's a single api call as i was telling you and it's very flexible in getting it deployed to any of the apps that you are working could be a mobile app or a web app or any other app type of app that you are working and needless to say the enterprise grade security and privacy is applied to both your data and any the model that you are training right and so the built-in security is always available for you in azure and if you are wondering still what are all the scenarios there where you can use this face recognition API and do something yes you can detect identify and analyze faces in the images and even in videos maybe for a content moderation purpose or maybe for an authentication purpose or to maybe in a scenario where you would like to have crowd insights like um, what are all the or like the maximum gender or maybe the emotions of the crowd uh, gathered together there or something like this and maybe anytime if you are trying to make a space management for the crowd gathering then also you can count people in a space for a crowd something like this for a crowd control or so okay so without wasting much time let's see it in action how is it going to help you this is the image that i'm going to work here I could see multiple faces. This is my colleague's pictures I have taken. Hope they are not going to sue me for this as I have taken without their permission. Okay. So here, the moment you upload this picture to my tool, it's saying that these are all the faces. You see here all the faces that it has identified. Blue ones and then pink ones. You see, right? So let's let me try to show you one more pic and then show you how it detects faces in the pictures that you give. So let's take this one. Okay, again it's blue. Here it has detected this face and you can see the attributes of this face rectangle and then other faces with whether it is on hair or on bald or hair color or something like this all of this and you can see a lot of information like gender age all of this in a nutshell you hover your mouse here and then you can get to see information like gender male age around 34 and yes wearing sunglasses and emotion being neutral okay so let's try one more pick this is a pick taken on a different timeline let's check what it would say okay it could able to identify the face in it and there is a rectangle drawn in my face and then it's again saying gender male age 36 and wearing sunglasses and emotion being neutral so that's how it's going to detect the faces 
and then give you some information related to the age, gender or anything else that is associated with the picture. Okay. So now if you see here the emotions are also given and emotion here none of uh, what is this? Neutral. Neutral seem to be the 99% dominating emotion so it is given that rest of all whether it is anger or contempt or disgust or fear all are uh, zero almost zero and neutral seem to be 99 percent that's a dominating feeling appearing in this picture it has mentioned it okay so now quickly moving on to how do you verify pictures so that you can authenticate people in some scenarios or so right so let's try to check how do you verify the faces here i have put this is my picture with beard and my daughter went to an extent that she wanted to fabricate my face as female and then give a try to check whether it recognizes if it's me or not and surprisingly if you see that it is saying the two faces belong to the same person however the confidence level to my tool is a bit low it's just 65 percent okay so let me try to take one more and then show it to you I'm taking another pick of mine and then trying to upload to compare and once it verifies what it would say let's check okay so this is one picture this is sometime back picture and if you see it is able to recognize the two faces belong to the same person and in this if you see the confidence level also has grown a bit high here 84 percent or, or around 85 percent it is confident that these two pictures belong to the same person let me try to put one more okay this is a different picture taken on a different timeline though in both the pictures beard is there but of a different timelines it's been taken okay so here it says that confi the two faces belong to the same person in this picture also it could able to identify that these two belong to the same person however the confidence in this particular one is around 71 percent or 70 somewhere around okay so this is how you identify the faces and quickly moving on how do you perceive emotions in a group of in a picture where a group of people are present or maybe the single okay so let's try to check I'm trying to take okay this one let's try okay so here you can see that this gentleman is 83 percent happiness and 99 percent happiness this champ is looking 100 percent happiness okay this this element too 100 percent happy 99 percent happy okay so this is how all this information it is available in the form of json and then try to take it retrieve it and then put it into the application to use it to suit your purpose build intelligent apps though you are not a machine learning expert or an AI expert for that matter you see here so the range of emotions that it can identify is whether it's anger or contempt disgust fear happiness neutral sadness and surprise surprise let me show you how the surprise would come so this is the picture and if you see the surprise is 99 percent and disgusting so this is how the disgusting would be identified by the picture so for any of the intelligence that's required with text or image or video all of these available under cognitive services in azure and today's demonstration that we have seen is related to the images in identifying the age gender emotion and many other attributes related to the pictures okay so if you are thinking that it could be too expensive okay though it is exciting to see the technology it might be too expensive if you are thinking like that I would like to burst that myth by taking you to the Azure pricing calculator to show how much really does it cost for you okay this is Azure pricing calculator 
and here I am coming to AI plus machine learning category under this the service that I am going to choose is cognitive services and once I add this cognitive services to my calculator I'll have to choose few of the configuration settings here I would come and then say face is the recognition API that I'm going to use for my purpose and then I would like to use it from Central India Central India South India West India you choose any one of the locations which is suitable for you or which you are planning to use it from and the instances we have free and standard free anyway I'm not worried because it's anyway free of cost I'm trying to show you how a standard one would cost you and here let's say 10,000 transactions per month if this is the scenario and I would like to store 10,000 faces in my database so that I can authenticate my people whoever are coming into my premise or maybe using my apps or something like that wherever I would like to build this intelligence related to the face recognition assume that I would like to store 10,000 and then 10,000 transactions in a month and I would like to change this to Indian currency for an understanding and you see that here it goes it would cost you around 667 uh, Indian rupees so that economic and feasible and affordable the cost would be to use this face recognition API so hope this session was helpful in understanding how a face recognition API under Azure Cognitive Services is going to help you detect age, emotions, and gender, and many other attributes related to image or images, right? So if you have liked this video, please do like, share, and then please subscribe to channel to stay tuned on my upcoming videos. I'm going to release few more videos on other cognitive services with demonstrations which are very easier to understand. Stay tuned till then. See you. Good day. Bye-bye.